These five men comprising Israel's war cabinet are deciding how to respond to Iran's attack. On Monday, the chief of staff was determined Israel would do so. Iran will face the consequences for its actions. We will choose our response accordingly. Several options are on the table. The most audacious, a direct attack on Iranian soil. The country is 1,500 kilometers away, so within range of Israeli missiles and planes, and Iran's anti-aircraft defenses are weak. Possible targets include military facilities, leaders from the Revolutionary Guards, or Iran's nuclear sites. Israel-linked plots have been targeting its clandestine nuclear program for years. If Israel strikes the Iran nuclear program, I don't think any other country will enter the war. Iran is developing these nuclear arms in secret, and we know that many countries, including France, are against it doing so. So I think that this is the most likely possible scenario for Israel's response. Alternatively, Israel could choose to attack Iran's proxies in Yemen, Syria, Iraq or Lebanon, where Israel is already exchanging almost daily cross-border fire with Hezbollah. Meeting new army recruits on Tuesday, the Israeli Prime Minister said that fighting Hamas was part of a greater campaign. Iran stands behind Hamas, behind Hezbollah, behind others, but we are determined to win there and defend ourselves in all arenas. Netanyahu could also heed to Joe Biden and other world leaders who are calling for de-escalation in efforts to prevent a wider regional conflict.